I've made beginner guides for both Bravo as well as MailerLite and in this video I want to go in depth and I want to show you all of the features and I basically want to help you to find the perfect email marketing software for you guys. Now first of all, these are both great tools. As you can see, MailerLite as well as Brevo both have, I think, one of the best designs in the market out there. And they also have basically all the basic features that you guys need. The Brevo dashboard does look like this. You have all of your features on the left and you can basically navigate on them. You can select campaigns. And I will also quickly show you the uh, email editor as I think that's really important to show and as you can see this is how the email editor is actually going to look you have all of your elements on the left uh, which you can just drag onto your email and I have to say this is definitely one of the better email editors out there however I think that MailerLite even has an advantage now as you can see um, this is how the MailerLite dashboard is going to look like in my opinion it's a little bit better than Bravo and once again you have all of your features on the left uh, campaigns, subscribers, forms, sites, automations and you can actually create a new campaign right here and I will just quickly uh, show you an example campaign so that you know how the editor is going to look like and one thing which I want to mention is that on MailerLite as well as on Bravo you will get some free templates however I personally think that the MailerLite templates are a little bit more advanced and also do look way better. And this is how the email editor on MailerLite is going to look like. Now, I have to say this is my personal favorite e email editor when it comes to design and functionality. All of your elements on the left, which you can once again just drag onto your email and then you can edit each of these elements by just clicking right here and then editing them on the right. Well, both Brevo as well as MailerLite do offer email automations or some people also call them workflows. Now, in my opinion, they are both pretty good. However, I think the MailerLite workflow actually has a slight advantage. Once again, the design is just way better. And you also do have some more customization features. Now, one advantage which Brabo has is that they actually do offer sales CRM. So in my opinion, to basically sum it up, MailerLite is perfect for you if you're only doing email marketing, but if you're also doing sales CRM, then it would make sense to use Brabo. Let's just quickly compare the pricing. Now, let's for example say that you have 10,000 contacts. Now, MailerLite actually offers a 30-day free trial and I will leave you a link for that down below. And the basic plan would actually cost $47 and the advanced plan would cost $77. Now, on Brevo, they actually calculate things kind of different. Now, on Brevo, they actually calculate things kind of different. So, let's for example say that uh, in total, on MailerLite, if you have 10,000 contacts, you're going to send out 40,000 emails, so basically four emails per contact per month, okay? Now, Brevo actually offers you a completely free plan. Once again, link down below. And you, I, you, I guess you can use that plan. However, you won't get all of the features that you need to successfully do email marketing, in my opinion. For example, you won't have landing pages. You can't really set, uh, set up a kind of email automations and so on. So let's quickly compare the starter and business plan to the MailerLite plan. Now, let's, for example, say that you're going to send out 40,000 emails per month, which would cost $29 on Brevo. However, one thing which you have to keep in mind is that to actually remove the Brevo branding from all of your emails, you would have to pay $9. So now we would be at $38 and at business, we would be at $69 per month. Now, as you can see, Brevo is actually slightly cheaper. However, in my opinion, if you're only aiming for email marketing, MailerLite actually has a slight advantage because as you can see, if you want to unlock some additional features over on Brevo, you will actually have to pay on top. For example, if you want to uh, build more landing pages, you would have to pay uh, additional money. Whereas MailerLite kind of is an uh, all-in-one product. Now, if you want to learn MailerLite or Brevo, I will leave you the beginner's guides right here.